you want and you said tell me about yourself and why you chose to put the words on it that you did because that describes the picture and tell me about the picture the picture the boy the, describes that the two birds should belong to each other so you have a blackbird and what does the blackbird represent Iman? good things or bad things bad and what about the white bird Yusuf? Uh, good, uh, good things are violence. Okay, so non-violence? Yeah. And so are the birds, did you want the birds to come together in the middle? Yeah. Yeah. Is that important to you to have, to have peace? Yeah. yeah. Did you grow up in a place that did not have peace? Yeah. Uh -huh. What was, what was happening? Uh, there was wars and they broke, they broke our, uh, they broke our house and everything. That that was a that that was the one that the one bad thing that it was in my life. Mm. And you too, Iwan? Yeah. And what about now? Big. Uh, all the time. And uh, we put we choose this this <laughs> this word because it came with this. And did you because. have a peaceful life? Was it peaceful or was it was there war? No, it was a peaceful. There was war. There was war? Mm -hmm. And what about now, Silsty? Right now, it's, everything's good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we're safe. And uh, we have a peace life. Okay. And is that important to you? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And to you, too? Mm -hmm. The hens means they're from Iraq. They're bad. They're bad. So the they, black they break the heart and the birds come. So peace is pieces going away and coming here. We learned of this project and knew immediately that this was something that we wanted for our children. Chase Avenue School over the last several years has increased the refugee population, most of our students coming from Iraq. The children who have been coming from Iraq are children of war. They've seen lots of um, devastating events in their lives and we thought that this Art in the Next Piece would be a wonderful project for them. As the children worked on their art projects, they experienced what peace is all about. They looked at objects that represent and symbolize peace, and together they chose those symbols that they wanted to represent peace for themselves in their lives now and in their lives in their past. It was wonderful to see some of the children even doing their projects because we could see together having little conflicts because they had to work in teams on their large silks. And you can hear the students even talking to each other and saying, you know, that wasn't very peaceful. And so it really became an event that they were doing amongst themselves through their art that they were able to bring peace into their own lives. So look at all the things that are in there. You can notice. Okay, and this is what it meant to our artists. The girl in the star symbolizes that she is giving love and peace to everybody in the world and to the animals. The fish symbolizes that he is trying to eat the animals in nature and all the plants, but he can't because the girl is bringing peace and love. The sun is giving peace to... to I feel very happy because what I did on the art project because and it touched my heart.